Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm coming at you with a little bit of um spring vibes. In fact, I've actually gotten quite a few direct messages from you guys requesting hauls and fashion videos. So I guess you guys really like them. So I'm gonna try to continue doing them for you guys. Some of these items you will definitely recognize and know the brand. Some you may not because I did buy them at like local shops down in Florida because we did go on vacation. So um, I kind of got a little bit of everything. I got some accessories. I got some like casual wear. I got a few uh, dress up, dress down pieces. So I got a little variety going on. So guys, I'm going to first start with a few accessories that I was showing in the Florida vlogs that I never actually um, told you where they were from, but I did get some messages. So I'm here to kind of let you all know where everything's from. It is actually a $7. I said, yeah, $7. Um, it's a straw men's hat from Walmart, no joke, okay? Um, I did bend it by accident. We had a lot to carry on the beach and one thing led to another and somehow it was just in the tightest grip and it ended up just kind of leaving a huge dent in it. So it's got a light blue band with tropical palms on it. It's just so, I'm ready like for vacation again. This one you saw in our animal kingdom, okay? It's just something to block the sun out of your face. Again, it's kind of got that like straw type of material, very earthy, it's very stretchy, and it has like a nice bow decal right down here. And um, it's a one size, you don't have to worry about trying to find your size. It was $4 at Walmart. I got it right before a trip because I knew that I'd be putting my hair up, Florida's hot. I knew I would be throwing it up in a bun, but still want something to keep the sun out of my face. After a while, the sun just gets me like, oh my God. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect just to kind of keep it in your beach bag. If you're on the beach and you're just over the sun, throw this on and your scalp will still get a tan. Since we're like on this Walmart um, wagon right now, I'm just gonna <laughs> go ahead and show you guys the um, flat sneakers that I got. They are white with teal stripes inside. I don't know. I like when there's designs inside my shoes, even though no one's ever gonna see it. I like it. It's got memory foam. It's from the brand Time and True. And what I actually, what caught my eye was the fact that it had this. Right at the heel, you have like these pastel colored um, arrows and I'm just big into arrows in case you haven't noticed. It has got a scrunch backing to it. So it's always kind of hugging around your ankle, which I like, it will not slip off because these don't actually tie in front. They're just kind of one of those, like they have the shoelaces, but they don't tie up. They just stay put. You don't have to worry about tying your shoes. The memory foam in this is just, is amazing. It's just amazing. It's like, it's luxury for your feet. And it was only, I believe $9. They have them in baby pink too, which I might go back and get these right here. Okay. Target has the best selection for sunglasses and I'm the kind of person where I can't just order any online. Like I gotta see what they look like on my face because I could see the cutest sunglasses online but the moment I put them on my face, I'm like, ew. These were from the brand A New Day, which I'm sure if you're a big Target goer like me, you know all about A New Day. Most of their accessories is from that brand and I just, so stylish, so stylish. So these are just really awesome because they have the very, thin rim that I like and they're not circular because I do have a lot of circular vintage looking sunglasses and these are still vintage they still give that old-fashioned vibe that I love but they're a little bit somewhat new age they got a little bit a slight geometric look to them kind of spices up and gives gives kind of attitude to whatever you're wearing what up so guys check out this bohemian, what I thought was a dress till I bought it, I didn't try it on. <laughs> Got this down in Florida and it's from the brand Didi's. This is just a nice, very earthy brown, almost like a golden brown, very bohemian, rustic, but yeah, it's still feminine, still very girly. You have some really nice details on this baby. The stitching is beautiful. You got a little bit of a floral design going on here, a drawstring neck very adorable and you got the bead decal on the ends i love beads i'm just you give me earthy and i'm sold i mean even what i'm wearing 
It's just, just earthy. I like browns. It does rise on the end here, goes up ever so slightly. So it does kind of cascade down like almost like a, the waterfall look. I like that a lot. This would honestly be something I would wear with a pair of really nice, comfortable wedges and high-waisted shorts. Easy peasy, baby. I got another Walmart item and you ain't gonna believe this, but <laughs> look how pretty this kimono is. You, can you even see it? Kind of blends in with my wall. $16 from Walmart and it caught my eye. It's right by the purses. It's not actually in the clothing. It's by the accessories. Just a nice little summer cover up. This could be for a bathing suit. I love the embroidery on here. It's beautiful. It gives such a very youthful, innocent kind of vibe to it. And I think it because it's white, it's just crisp and clean and pure and you can just wear it with anything. It's got that fresh summer vibe that I like. I love the rustic, but I also like that really like Ah, angelic. I feel like you can never have enough um, like kimonos or shawls because they really take a simple basic, like for example, this basic white top here, and they really add the staple piece. Like I feel like kimonos are the perfect staple piece for um, an outfit, just to bring it all together. So these next few shirts I actually got from a store called Foreman Mills. It's kind of like a TJ Maxx. You can find some high ends there or you can find some super basics, like really, really inexpensive. This is a cotton button up blouse and um, it's from the brand George. It is um, not really form fitting. It's meant to be a little bit looser and casual. This is the perfect top to tuck into a pair of uh, distressed denim jeans, like a light wash. This would just give that real beachy, laid back look that I love in the summertime. How simple. I love that crisp white linen. It just reminds me of the beach. Like that, I got this adorable tank. It says Palm Nights on it. And what caught my eye, obviously, was the um, color of the text. It was a super hot pink. You got the little palm tree decal. And it's against this tan, which with some undertones of like a darker, deeper brown. It's very hard to see. So um, the contrast between the neutral earthy tan and then that bright pink just kind of caught my eye. It's not cropped, but it is ever so slightly higher in the front and lower in the back, which is cool. So again, with this, I would definitely like tuck it in a little bit and have it hang just kind of over your jeans. I think this was the most expensive thing I got from that store and it was like $7. I kid you not. Next one is very, <laughs> Very different, like, wow. When I saw this piece, I said, oh my God, that is me in a nutshell. Yes, it is a bunch of cheetahs, okay? The way they put the cheetahs on, it, the like art form, I guess you could say, is the pointillism, and I really, really like that. And for those of you <laughs> who don't know, pointillism is just when they use little dots to create an image and that is precisely what they did to make these cheetahs you can see up close and i think it really just gives it um it just gives it some culture i like it a lot the tone of brown they use is very 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 unique it's a very warm warm brown and it does have a little bit of a collar it does button down black buttons and right at the bottom there's two little hanging pieces just to kind of tie it up. You can make it a crop. You can make it as much as a crop as you want by unbuttoning and kind of tightening up a little further. I love versatile pieces, you already know. I have a lot of tans, but I don't have a brown like this at all in my wardrobe. It just kind of gives it like a, that safari vibe, safari. So I got this one down in Florida as well at just like a random boutique. The brand is called By The Sea. And this is just a cream colored blouse. It is spaghetti strap and kind of hangs off the shoulder. So you got a little bit of shoulder showing and it's got a very 70s vibe to it. Crisscrosses in the back kind of shows some back there. And again, it's just a nice flowy summer top. I do believe it's meant to be a dress. Me, I wouldn't. <laughs> no way. You gotta test it by lifting your arms up and yeah, you can't do that. I actually pictured this blouse with um, white distressed jeans, which I actually do not own any, and, but I would like to. That's what I pictured with this and some wedges. 
that's what came to mind. But again, you could dress it up or dress it down. This next piece I actually got, it's two pieces that came together from Walmart and it was only $10. Look how cute. Ooh. This doesn't give me 90s feels and vibes. I don't know what does. You got some sherbet looking colors in the middle, but then all of a sudden you got like the black that just kind of breaks it all up and the, it just catches the eyeball and you're just like, whoa! Came with this cover up, matching cover up. I would not wear it together <laughs> because in my opinion, it's, unless you want to make a statement, which is fine and awesome, but for me, I kind of like to keep things a little more mellow. I don't really want to draw too much attention with all these crazy colors. So I would wear one or the other because it's just, to me, I feel like a little too much at once. So I would wear this dress just by itself with maybe a, just a solid black kimono or just a solid black dress with this cover up. All the 60s vibes are coming out right here. This fit is so 60s. Look at that. I feel like I'm on the Brady Bunch. It doesn't come up too high, which I notice a lot of uh, summer dresses are either way too long because I'm very short. I'm only 5'3". Um, they're either way too long on me or way too short to the point where I can't sit down and who needs that? And it's kind of got like a cinched um, waist right here that you can tie in the front. You do have the cascading uh, waterfall which I like. So it's very pretty and I thought I would get it because you just never know. It's almost like getting two separate pieces for the price of one, so why wouldn't I do that? I got this from Forever 21 and man, am I, I can't even tell you how much I'm seeing in stores these, these pale pastel -y colors are just coming back to life. I feel like I haven't seen them in years and I love that they're making a comeback. They're just so innocent looking and very playful and just fun. You just got a basic color block hoodie, got the white baby pink, and then it just says youth 1980 to 1985. I could have gone without this. Love the color contrast, the teal and the baby pink, but I really don't care about type that much on my clothing unless it's a graphic tee with a purpose. And this was under $20, so. So guys, that was it. <laughs> that was the spring slash summer haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or got some ideas of your own. If you have any questions about anything that I showed you, just let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was out of everything that I showed you. Please do give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you aren't already. I do make new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.